looks like I've received my package from the 3 dprintercomau website and this is uh, the BuildTac sheet that they've sent me and it's in a nice cardboard package uh, with more cardboard on inside so you can't bend it. Okay, so it's a bit smaller than I thought but the uh, the surface sort of feels like eggshells maybe. Um, the back is a bit tacky. Uh, it's uh, uh, a big sticker that you pull off to stick it down. Actually it looks really really good quality but uh, alright so we'll get this on the printer and see how it goes and oh, I so hope I don't have to use glue anymore. Alright so here we are on the Flash Forge Dreamer and I've fi finally run out of glue sticks so even though I've got a couple of orders. So I've cleaned the glass plates and it's beautiful nice and clean and flat and I'm going to be trying this build tack. So let's see how it fits on the Flash Forge Dreamer. Oh, nice. It looks like it'll fit on uh, on my platform pretty good. Oh wow, look at all the rubbish. As you can tell, I do a lot of printing. Here's the uh, piece of build tack. And you just peel up this waxy paper to reveal the sticky part. Now, the difficult bit, try and put it on the platform. Let's see how we go. I've got all the sticky bit exposed. Let's see how we go. Okay. I'm just trying to line it up. Now, I've got my build platform bigger than it needs to be. So, Wow, that does stick very, very well. Um, whoops. Well, here's a uh, word of caution when uh, trying to install the build tack. Once it's on, it's on. Um, there's, I barely just touched the glass platform and it is stuck down absolutely rock solid. Um, I didn't quite get it straight. <laughs> but, uh, ah, well. There's no air bubbles at all, so it's not really, really annoying stuff like that really annoying capped on tape. Um, perfectly flat surface. I can feel that, and that's just an accidental lay down. But as you can see, I didn't. Oh, I just found a 3D printed part. There we go. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so here we are on the Flash Forge Dreamer. I'm just trying this new build tack from the 3dprinter.com website and uh, this is my very very first print there we go it's warmed up I'll just get rid of that filament hope this works we're both seeing this for the first time oh wow it does seem to be working. Oh, very nice edges. So this is a build tack sheet. Let's see if I can get that in the shot there. Build tack. Now this is a complicated shape, mainly because it's got all these zigzag patterns. And I've always, always had trouble with the corners lifting because it's so complex. Holy dooly. Okay, this stuff is awesome. I have never seen it this flat. You are kidding. Why on earth aren't they selling this to every 3D printer manufacturer? Let's have a look. This stuff is just sticking like glue. Let's have a look at these layers over here. Oh, nice. It just lays down so, so flat. Maybe I shouldn't have used black as my first print. <laughs> Maybe white would have been good, but 
Wow. Yeah, I think you can see just how well it's uh, actually sticking. That is a good example. I've had failures before on this print uh, in the corners uh, because it lifts. Absolutely amazing. Build tap. Don't worry about the price, just get it. Look at this. No surface preparation at all. This is PLA and even that tiny one little layer where it started the skirt, absolutely stuck down rock solid. And look at the quality of these top surfaces. Absolutely I've never been able to get edges so perfectly uh, flat. But let's have a look. Absolutely laser. It sort of flattens there. Um, I've been printing these uh, chess sets a lot and uh, never, never this easy. So at the moment, this build tax stuff, absolutely worth its weight in gold. Unbelievable stuff. First layer just goes down so nice. Alright, so we're back on the Flash Forge Dreamer and I'm printing on this uh, build tack surface. There it is, build tack. And let's have a look. Absolute perfect layer adhesion. There we go. See, it goes really, really well. Um, the only thing uh, that I've found is after about well, maybe five or six prints, you need to spray it with some isopropyl alcohol and just give it a clean uh, with a bit of paper towel. It dries instantly, like one or two seconds, and that's it. And then you can print again. Right, now, in the instructional videos, they say that the parts just sort of pop off, but yeah, I don't know what they call popping off. But anyway, um, so here I've got a flat blade and just a bit of a knock. Whoops, I uh, lost a couple. Anyway, yeah, that's all that's required. Um, just a bit of a hit. Right, get them out of the way. Yep. So anyway, that's that's all that's required um, uh, to get the parts off of the uh, build plate. Um, but when it comes to uh, objects like this, which have a really large surface area, uh, you do still need to get the blade underneath and give it a couple of taps with a hammer, and then you very gently wedge your way underneath and it'll eventually come off and that's it no mess no cleanup no sticky um glue anymore so like even here there we go oh, i nearly get it there we go there's just no effort so here we are on the flash forge dreamer and we're using the uh, build tack. So just going to give you an idea of how good it sticks. As soon as the filament starts flowing. There it goes. No prep at all. This works straight away, even with complex shapes uh, like that. Just sticks really, really well. Okay, so here's a part that was printed on my Flash Forge Dreamer uh, on the new build tack surface. So as you can see, the uh, this is only at 300 microns, so it's not exactly. Uh, 
uh, a high resolution or anything. But um, I just wanted to show you what sort of surface uh, quality you can get. So this is the top surface. Uh, you can just see the uh, lines of the extruder where it went around. And this is the bottom surface, which was on the build tack. Uh, so you no longer get the high gloss finish. It's more of a uh, matte sort of finish, but oddly enough, you uh, uh, you can no longer see the um, lines from when it was printed. It's just totally flat. So this is the bottom layer that was connected to the build tack surface. So you can see there's the 300 microns layers and this is the it's sort of a leathery sort of pattern. Um, the texture is more like eggshells actually. Um, it, I actually don't mind it. It's a matte finish so, so I don't get the high gloss finish I used to with glass. But still, it's it's not unpleasant. It's actually really nice. It's very uniform. So anyway, that's the uh, surface finish you can expect to get on the uh, uh, build tech surface.